eights, the, an, an anger type. Was it eight? The, the anger's there. And they're, they're, they're comfortable with anger. It feels like an expression. It feels like good, you're showing up. And if you want to practice anger work with an eight, or excuse me, your own interior anger work, that's who you can do the practice of. Because if, if you, uh, for an eight, an expression of anger means, okay, you're here. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, we can make, we've made contact. Mm -hmm. And it's safe. And it's safe. Now, yeah. now I can trust you. Okay. Because now I know where you are, I know where you stand, and you're not giving me all this willy-nilly stuff. Mm -hmm. You're just totally. showing up. Amen. It feels good. She gets and it. <laughs> so, um, an eight's going to walk into the, first of all, the attention goes to power and control. So when an eight walks into a room, there's really a, almost a, a radar for the one who has the power. Um, and those who want to control others. And who doesn't have the power. And who doesn't have the power. Who's weak and vulnerable. And, for, and it depends. Because it could be, come on, show up. You know, quit with this willy-nilly crap. Okay? Or it could be watching you uh, abuse your authority in some way. And the eight's going to be the one who's going to show up and tell you. I, I knew an eight, she was riding a bus in San, or riding her bike in San Francisco, and a bus cut her off. She's t 21, 22. And she gets off her bike and stands in front of this bus in San Francisco. So does it feel good to almost run a little girl over? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> No sense of her own self-preservation. No sense that the bus is a little bigger than she is. <laughs> it might mow her down. And um, so it was. She she just said it's a the, the uh, defense mechanism is denial. It's a denial of my own impact. A denial of my own vulnerability. Yeah. Uh, all all the body types are self-forgetting. So it's a denial of kind of how I showed up in this situation. Um, I used to have a little eight across the street from me, and, and, and their energy is so big, all of a sudden you find yourself attending to the energy of it. And she'd come up and open the door, and she'd go, Mrs. Harshberger, you ran out of my favorite juice. And I'd be going, oh, God, Katie, I'm really sorry. I'll get to the grid. I'm like, wait a minute, that's my house. <laughs> but, but just the energy of it feels so big that you kind of respond to it in that way. So um, the uh, passion... Yeah, just a quick question. When you said their attention goes to power and control, are they aware? Is it a specific type of power? I mean, it could be a very, I don't know, quiet power. Are they aware of that? Or is yeah, it... well, make no mistake that eights are all some big extroverts really, really out there. Like Sam Donaldson is an eight. Mm -hmm. I live in Cincinnati. Marge Schott, you know, is an eight. Mm -hmm. uh, Cincinnati Reds owner. Um, Saddam Hussein is an eight. There's a lot of eights I know who are real introverts, mm -hmm. and they can see quiet power a okay. mile away. Um, think, um, I'm just trying to think of eights. They say Martin Luther King was probably an eight. Um, that makes there's, sense. There's a leader that's coming to my mind, and maybe it'll, it'll come, I'll circle back, but he had a kind of a quiet solidity. You could feel it. Mm -hmm. So there's introverted eights. And so that, and they can tell that in the room too. Like, absolute, oh, there's an outward absolutely. powerful person, but there's an inward powerful person. You can feel the energy of power, yeah. absolutely. And who has the power? And who, you know, where, where? And and eights don't have a good calibrator for how much power is needed in a given situation. Mm -hmm. It's either all or nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for eights, a lot of times the path is finding how much energy is needed. So again, think of these body types. It's really about how much energy is needed. And a lot of times they'll they'll talk about well I don't know I just felt it in my gut, you know there's a there's a I remember I used to ask when I was 17 years old I'd say to my husband why do you love me you know he's got a big eight wing I don't know I just love you <laughs> you know, those word crap you know kind of, you know flowery stuff that kind of thing so. All I, all I was gonna ask is do eights tend to uh, the arena of politics then because this is what it seems like. Um, Except when they don't. I mean, Except when they, they don't. They, yeah, but they, they, they can go like they're either one or the other. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know eights who are really into fashion and fashion design and, you know, oh, or desi okay. just design. It's it, But it's always going to be lust. A lot of eights joke that they have, they're ready for, they kind of have a bunker mentality and there's a lot of them will joke that there's a place in their basement where there's like 60 rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> okay. And, and 50 canned goods just in case they come in. Screw you. You know, I'm going to be ready, baby. You know, and have all the stuff in the basement. So it's just very sixes in that way. Yeah, there's a, th well, scatophobic sixes and eights are look-alike No, they do. They yeah. can mm -hmm. knock heads endlessly. Yeah. Uh, but so I find there a, a lot of sixes. Is uh, you don't see the, it, well, they wouldn't describe it as paranoia. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't describe it as paranoia. Um, 
it's more about, think of the energy of power and think mm -hmm. of the energy of paranoia. You know, since somebody's mm -hmm. going to try to run me down, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to, it's like a bunker kind of thing. I'll be ready for you. Yeah. Okay. And um, when under stress, they can look kind of five-ish because I'm going to go in and I'm going to strategize, mm -hmm. you know, because this won't happen to me again. Right, they call it, it the binge. Be... They will get revenge and, and it's yeah. a dish uh, that's served it's cold. cold. In the in the AIDS world, they will get you back. Yeah, yeah. An, an unconscious aid. That's what it's going to be so about. So, criminals with criminals. Will be well, criminals are going to be in every every type. Every type. But okay. it, theirs might be. It's going to look a little bit. It'll look a little mm -hmm. bit. Probably a little. There's more of them. In prison, yeah. probably. Do you think so? Of them. Because, and, and another another thing, an unhealthy aid, they can like destroy <laughs> organization from the inside. And there was a there was a yeah. transpersonal university in the Bay Area where if they were doing the student interview and they like they found out the person was an eight said, sorry we don't do eights next they just didn't want uh, eightness in their green world basically because they yeah, knew. Yeah, I'm so thinking horrible. of my friend who's an eight who would just be so angry at that because I just look at you know just look at that's just such a misuse of typology mm -hmm. because I've seen some eights who would be amazing at, at, at the university or in that environment. Well, what you described it, I mean, on, on the on, I mean, they're so powerful on the, on the negative end of the spectrum is Al Capone, and on the positive end. It's in the expansion of Martin Luther King Jr., yes. oh my God, or Moses, or you know, yeah. this great Think leaders. of that power that I can bring forth, um, you know, humongous change. change. Mm -hmm. And they're not afraid, tend to not be afraid to back down, or excuse me, yeah, to, to, with a challenge. I watched my daughter's boyfriend in El Salvador, who's an eight, and I'm just stunned by what he wow. does. It's, it's, and, and, and he has just this, this passion for social justice, and my daughter told me a lot of the um, people down there as well, people from the states who were working down there are AIDS yeah. because there's a it's, it can look a little sixish, or, you know, the p passion for the underdog, and you know he's this is a kid whose father was killed in the war, mom left him, and so has has just a watching him with young people and working with these gang members, mm -hmm. he's not afraid to go on into a really compromised community and work with people, work with in a dangerous environment. And often working with addicts, it's going to be great counselors because there's that denial thing and they just cut, cut through the through. shit. Right. Whoa, right. You know, like, mm -hmm. there yeah. it is. But I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about their vulnerability and mm -hmm. the, the sweetness of the vulnerability because as my friend Claire, who's an eight, says, what do you think? all that strength is hiding. Mm -hmm. You know, what are we covering? And it's this huge vulnerability. I see that with my daughter's boyfriend. It's, it's just, you can just feel it. You know, this world has just mowed him down and mowed him down and mowed him down. And I, I watch him, he was so nervous. My husband's a big guy. Just really, and, and Cesar's probably, say, say it's always look taller than they are. I'm always surprised if a five foot eight, mm -hmm. eight tells me they're five eight, because I always thought that maybe they were, you know, five eleven or something like that. But Cesar's probably about five eight, Dave is six two. And I, I'm watching his vulnerability around Dave, you know, wondering what's he going to think of me, Laura's dad, and this kind of thing. You could, you could feel it. Um, and, and, and being covered by a um, persona of strength. Absolutely. So yeah, so addiction would be a lot about lost. Yeah, baby, let's get another one. You know, I've I've, I've partied with AIDS before. It's like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ready for bed, and they, you know, they can do more, and some more, and and, and maybe how about a little more? And so on the other side, um, you know, with the lust, it's it's when you can see that soften, and you can get into this really vulnerable place. It's just lovely.